question we often receive is, are the results from neurooptimal brain training lasting? Is it permanent? Do I need tune-up sessions? And we like to switch the view from the specific reason that someone has decided to train, whether it's poor sleep or noticing that um, they're emotionally not as grounded and resourced as they'd like to be, or if it's for reasons of you know, being able to have more mental clarity, be able to focus. Um, we tend to fixate on what is it the thing that's going on in our lives that we want to have changed. But with the neurooptimal system, because it's looking at the overall functioning of the brain, you could see shifts happen in, in all sorts of areas and not just the ones that you're looking to address. So one of the questions then becomes, well, what are all the supports that help the brain regulate? Because when we have um, you know, a lack of focus or we have difficulty sleeping at night, Basically, what the brain is doing is the wrong brain waves in the present moment. So we're addressing, showing the brain everything that it's doing, but also training it. So NeuroOptimal is really a training system. We're teaching the brain to function differently. And what we're doing is we're saying, hey, I want you to see what the choices are that you're making habitually, moment to moment, and really check out if they're in alignment with your present moment needs. So let's take sleep as the example. We want the brain to be able to register that it's tired, that it's the end of the day, and so to come out of that go mode and go into rest mode. But we need the brain to be able to register, oh, all of these factors, it's a safe environment, it's nighttime, it's really okay to let go and go into sleep. And with the neurooptimal training, we're teaching the brain to see what it's doing and the choices it's making moment by moment. So when you're asking the question, are the results long lasting, we also have to look at the overall choices that the individual is making that may be helping that brain come and stay in the present moment and be resourced, or maybe pushing the boundaries of resource. So again, using the example of sleep, do you have good sleep hygiene practices? Do you put your phone away an hour before you go to sleep? Do you allow yourself to take a relaxing shower to stop thinking about things? Um, do you actually give yourself enough time to sleep? All of those factors, as well as the neurooptimal brain training, are going to factor into supporting you re-regulating your sleep. Um, maybe you're training for grounding emotionally and being calmer and more emotionally resourced. One of the questions that we would want to ask you when you're wondering, is this long-term results or should I come in for... Uh, tune-up sessions or re-rent a system six months a year from now. The question we ask you is how much do you push your system into a stress response? Do you get exercise regularly? Do you have a, a good diet that supports brain health? Do you hang out with uh, loving healthy friends? All of those factors as well as the neurooptimal brain training is going to contribute to whether you stay regulated or whether your system gets nudged out of the boundaries of regulation and into dysregulation.